This location has a beaver dam that was up against one of the bridges. The beaver dam was high enough and on the face of the dam, and so it was impacting or potentially impacting the stability of the dam. And so the Park Service was interested in moving the beaver dam away from the bridge face. So they, they brought in um, Skip Lyle, who's with Beaver Deceivers International. He is regional, maybe even national expert on doing these kinds of installations to, to move the beavers away from infrastructure. Well, I, I, I'm building an a authentic beaver deceiver. We have two goals, one to prevent the beavers from clogging the culvert. The second goal is to encourage the beavers to build the dam just upstream. The way that Skip does it, and what was very important to the park, is that beavers are natural to this system. And so part of the motivation is to have beavers stay here. Part of the design has a kind of a starter dam. And so there's location for the beavers to go ahead and do the work that they're going to do, but not on the face of the bridge. Typically, it's pretty easy to get beavers to dam where you want them to dam, really trying to get that beaver dam established, which is, would be a good thing, I think, uh, certainly ecologically, hydrologically, aesthetically, you're, gonna, you're just going to have uh, more water in the pond and consequently more wildlife. You can't have clogged culverts. We have to have the roads. The only other alternative to an effective flow device is to kill the beavers, to effectively protect the culvert. If you engage with removing dams or trapping beavers or that kind of a management where you're trying to impact the way in which beavers are trying to operate within the system, you're really setting yourself up for a long-term struggle with beavers. But if you can figure out ways to either keep them out of the way without lethal means or without removing their dams or get your infrastructure out of the way, you have a far better chance of kind of coming to terms with being able to live with them within the ecosystem. And they're important to the ecosystem, so it's, it's better to try and live with them.